Hello, I'm Shane from imimpact.com and this is another quick answer video. The question comes from Baggio and he's asking, I was wondering what software do you use to create presentations? They look awesome. Do you use custom keynote templates or another software all together? All right, so presentations for videos and webinars and stuff like that, I use PowerPoint, but it doesn't matter. You could use PowerPoint or Keynote or OpenOffice. Uh, or you could also use something fancier, you know, like Prezi. It doesn't matter what, what tool you use. You can use a flip chart and, and give a great presentation. It doesn't matter what tool you use. What matters is what matters is how you use it. Now, this is supposed to be a quick answer video. I could talk for hours about how to make good presentations. Let me just give you the most important thing. The most common mistake uh, that makes presentations suck is that there is too much information on one slide or on one screen. All right, that's the most common mistake. And you can make your presentations better by applying the principle of less is more. Cut out stuff from your slides. Uh, you know, the typical thing is you have a slide with 10 bullet points on it. You have pictures and graphics and, and bullet points and text and all sorts and, and several different fonts all on one slide. It's just too much, too much text on the slide. Very often my slides have just one word on them or one icon, you know, like one simple image or um, or maybe one phrase, right? It's, it's less, less stuff on the slide. So that's a very important principle. And, and as I said, you can apply that. It doesn't matter what tools you use. You, you can apply that same principle no matter what tools you use. So that is the, the one thing that you can do to improve your presentations. And obviously the other thing that applies to everything is practice. All right, if you want to learn more about how exactly I create these presentations, I have two products where that is covered. One of them is the Video Marketing Blueprints, which is a, um, or the Screencast Blueprint, I should say, which is specifically about how to create screencast videos, for example, sales videos. And then one of them is Webinar Eclipse, which is about how to do webinars. And there I go into details, you know, concerning webinars themselves, but also go into detail about how to put together a presentation slideshow for a webinar. Now, one more thing, you know, the, the cheat code here, the trick here is that the more elements you have on a slide, the better you have to be. Um, the more elements, if we're talking about design, for example, the more elements there are, the better your design skills have to be. If you want to combine five colors you have to be really good you have to be, have really good design sensi sensibility to be able to pick five colors that match and complement each other and look good together i can't do that if you have to pick two colors or maybe three colors that's much easier right if you just use black and white and one color like almost almost any color will look good with black and white so the more stuff there is the better your design skills have to be. If you have to combine lots of color, lots of different text and so on, you have to know all this stuff about how colors match each other, how to use how to use text and font sizes and white space and all that. If you have just three colors and one word on a slide, there's not that much you can do wrong design-wise. So that's one of the, um, that's like a cheat code I use to get good design even though I'm not a designer. All right, so that's it um, for how to create better looking presentations. And I told you the resources. So if you want to uh, know the details, either Screencast Blueprint or Webinar Eclipse.